So welcome to your first video for Harvard Westlake Advanced Placement Computer Science. We're just going to get started on writing some basic Java code. I'm going to assume you don't know anything. Uh, all I've done so far is open up BlueJ. Hopefully you've got that downloaded successfully. If not, talk to us in class and we'll help you out. But uh, basically all Java code has to be in something we call a class. So whenever you get started in BlueJ, you're going to usually start by clicking this button, which creates a new class for you. Uh, you got to give your new class a name right here. I'm going to give it something kind of meaningless, like first program. And BlueJ creates this little orangish icon for you. That's supposed to just represent the class. These little diagonal lines mean basically it doesn't work yet or it doesn't compile. And I'll talk about what that in a second. So in order to go in and write this program or edit it, you double click. Um, and you'll see this little thing opens up. Now, BlueJ writes a lot of automatic code for you and I think since we're just getting started that's a bad idea so I'm gonna do control A and delete it all so we're starting from scratch and we can just start writing our program now so all Java code has to be inside a class alright and in order to create anything in Java the, idea, the, the way it works is you announce that you're about to make something so if we're about to create a class what we say is I'm going to create a public class and then you just write the name of the thing you're creating. So we're going to call this my, or I'm just call it first program. Um, and then you have an open curly brace to indicate that you're beginning whatever it is you just declared, and then you have a closed curly brace to indicate that you're ending it. So what I this means is I'm creating a public class called first program. It's going to be inside these two curly braces. And then we line up the curly braces with the beginning of the declaration so that human beings can kind of easily see what is exactly inside the class. And then we'll indent everything that we're writing. Now many of you are thinking right now, what in the world does that word public mean? Don't worry about it. I actually have a problem here because, you know, most, I, I don't think that Java is a very good language for beginning programmers, okay? So as you're going to see in a second, uh, Java requires that you know all kinds of crazy details of the language just to get even a basic program running and that makes it difficult for beginners so what I'm gonna ask you to do in the first few months of the class is just try to relax there's gonna be a lot of words on the screen that you're not gonna understand I promise that you'll understand it in time we're gonna teach it to you slowly in a step-by-step -step manner but for a while I'm gonna have to say look just take my word for it just write this even though you don't know what it means Public is the first of those words. Basically, public just means that this thing is accessible to everything in the program. Um, so I'm creating a public class called first program. That's all you got to know. All right, so the next thing I'm going to write is going to be even crazier than that, and I'm not going to tell you why you have to know it. But what you write is public static void main string args. Um, and then again, an open curly brace and a closed curly brace. Each of these words has a very specific meaning, except uh, I'm not going to tell you what they are. All I want you to do is just know that this sequence of words represents the beginning of a Java program. Okay, When you run a Java program, the operating system looks for this sequence of words and then starts executing the commands inside. And that's all you got to know right now. This is called a method. We're going to learn a lot of different methods. This particular method is called the main method. So the name of the method is actually inside all these other words. These are all kind of modifiers. The method is public. The method is static. The method returns void. Or you could say the method is void. And then that's the name. Don't worry about this. But all of this is necessary just to run even a simple Java program. And that's one reason why it's tough for beginners. All right, so typically the very first program that you learn in any computer science class is you want the computer to say hello to the world in as simple a way as possible. And the standard way in Java is to write another crazy sequence of words that doesn't seem to make any sense. System.out.println. Um, and then you have parentheses, and then whatever you want to appear goes inside uh, the parentheses. System has a meaning, out has a meaning, print line has a meaning. Don't worry about it. Just think of the whole thing as the way to bring up a window with words inside of it. Now the words we want to display are hello world exclamation point. Now, in order to tell Java that what you're trying to print up is human language and not computer language, you have to put those words inside quotation marks, okay? So a quotation mark is Java code for, hey, 
human languages inside here. So we call this a literal string because it is a string of characters that Java will interpret literally, meaning no exaggeration, no interpretation, simply letter for letter, character for character. So these characters will be printed in a string in an output window. Um, and this is it. If I click the compile button, the compiler will tell me there are no syntax errors. Now let's talk a little bit about that. The compile button does a lot for us. First of all, it checks to see if there are any grammatical mistakes in the program. Is there anything simple that I forgot to do? In fact, I'm going to delete this semicolon and I'm going to click the compile button and you'll notice that the compiler highlights this line and says semicolon expected. Ah, oh, thanks compiler, I made a little mistake, I didn't see that. And I type it there and then I go click compile and it saves the program and says, hey, I don't see any grammatical mistakes. Good. And then, by the way, grammatical mistakes are usually called syntax errors. It's the syntax of the language. Um, but the compiler does something else that's even more important. What it does is it translates this English-looking language into what we call bytecode. This English-looking language that we type is called source code. The compiler translates it into what we call bytecode. And then that bytecode is readable by any computer in the universe as long as the Oracle company has written a Java reader uh, for um, that computer and they spend a lot of time and money making sure that every computer in the universe has a Java reader so that's how Java runs on any computer anywhere in the world it's pretty cool actually um, I also want to talk about the commenting here and the coloring let's do the coloring first colors are more fun notice that class is red void is red Static is purple, public is purple. You not, might not be able to see it on your monitor, but it is. Um, and then hello world is green. Um, you'll also see that this has like a little green outline and this is yellow. All of this is blue jay trying to help us program. We could write all of this in a regular text editor, but uh, then we would have to find all our mistakes our, our, ourselves. Um, Class and void are very special Java keywords, which means they have a special meaning in Java. And so they're red, public, and static also are Java keywords, so they have, uh, uh, they're, they're, have a different color. Um, hello world, because it is inside quotation marks, that's supposed to let us kind of see clearly that it's a string. Um, if I delete this, you'll see that it turns back into black. Um, that means Java has not interpreted it as a string, but as soon as I close it off again, it turns green. So BlueJ does a lot of little things to help us find our mistakes and to help us code a little bit better. Um, also notice the formatting. Like I said, when I declared this class my first program, I had an open curly brace to say everything inside this curly brace is part of the program, and then I had a closing curly brace. But you can see we're going to have lots of open and closed curly braces throughout, the, uh, throughout our programs. And sometimes you'll be six or seven levels deep maybe. Hopefully not, but maybe. And so what we do to help human beings see how deep you are inside of sets of curly braces, we indent. So this is the beginning of the program. And then everything inside that program, we're going to indent a few spaces. BlueJ helps us do that so it's not so much work. And then notice I declare this method, this main method with all this crazy language, and I create an open curly brace. Everything inside this method is going to be indented a little bit to help me see where, uh, what exactly is inside of it. And then I write and I write, and I'm, when I'm done, I unindent and come back and I close it up. And I can kind of see this vertical line here represents everything, uh, represents the main method. Everything inside the main method is indented. This vertical line here represents the class my first program and everything is indented. So that's how human beings uh, format their program so that it's easier for other human beings. The compiler, when I click this compile button, it just erases all that white space. The computer doesn't care. So you can put code wherever you want. Um, I could even watch this. I, I'll make this look really ugly and we'll put all this in all kinds of crazy spaces. This looks really ugly, but when I click compile, uh, the computer understands it, and it's not a problem. So all this is for human beings, um, and this is just a lot prettier. And I can delete some of this extra space, and now it's a little tighter looking. And that's our program. Compile, and we're ready to go. All right, so let's run this thing. I'm going to close. 
Now notice that my class icon doesn't have those little diagonal lines. That's because it compiled correctly. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click main. By the way, I should talk a little about that. I right click. These are all the different things that BlueJay will let you do with this class. What we want to do is execute the main method that we wrote in there. This void main string args. That's the method without the word public. Um, so if I click that, don't worry about this. We'll talk later about this. You just have to click OK, ignore it, and it says, hello world. So it did it. It did what we thought it was going to do. It created this little window that they called the terminal window and said hello world in there. So that's it. You've just run your first Java program. You might want to try it, and uh, if you're still curious, go on to the next video.